let me tell you something whenever there's some kind of construction work or a big uh, project in China farming uh, or whatever right uh, actually I think we might be, I might be able to show you one down here for example when this housing complex was being built many of these workers they don't live nearby maybe they're from a small rural town so the workers how can you expect the worker to travel all the way back to a small rural town which is miles away and in some cases can be hundreds of miles away so what these construction companies do they set up temporary housing on the construction site and most of the time it's right across the road from the construction site or the project or whatever it is right for example in Xinjiang Xinjiang is a huge province it is three times the size of the country of France now do you expect a Xinjiang worker to travel back home after he's finished working in the uh, picking cotton in the fields he's gonna travel hundreds thousands of miles back home no that is why these companies they provide them with housing nearby or across the road from the site and then if you scroll down in the article there's a little segment on video right and this video is some video taken out of someone's car window and there's basically no evidence of what it is and it's completely gray i mean how gray can you, how many filters are you using <laughs> it looks like my bsp news i guess they're the, they're the kings of uh, they're the kings of this kind of filter the underworld filter right i'm going to show you a satellite image from this city that i'm walking in now and show you how easy it is to make it look like some kind of concentration camp so for example here this is the uh, satellite images of the city that i was just walking around so let's see if we can find something like this here look they would take this picture and they're gonna say oh look at the walls here these are the walls of the uh, the prison detention complex here and then across the road is the forced labor factory here you can see it here what happens is they're forced into the uh, the forest to chop down the trees for the wood it's forced slave labor this is basically what they did they just came on google earth images and these images are out of date as well and they just found something that looks like some kind of camp to them and then they fabricated an entire story out of it right okay they have another they claim to have found another huge prison camp complex with multiple factories inside oh my god let's take a look at it but wait hold on a second if you look closely at these pictures you see those blue roofed buildings that are used for temporary housing what kind of prison is this it's made from temporary housing material surely all of these prisoners they can escape from this temporary housing i mean literally a strong gust of wind and some of these temporary housing they just blow over <laughs> where's the prison walls where's the watchtower any evidence no just a satellite image of some housing basically okay let's call it a prison camp okay great yeah go ahead publish the story <laughs> all these bullshit stories by western media it's just a huge ploy to try and destabilize china to serve their own geopolitical interests they're afraid of china's rise that's all it is basically i mean take a look at uh, iraq and that whole situation with the uh, weapons of mass destruction did they find anything they didn't find a single thing